Can you take a breakfast, Joe? Eh? Solo qua, eh? Breakfast is ready. Yeah, there is no coffee. You have to take the coffee, but... And so life in Fiji continues. In the last video, we showed how we built a cradle for the stern of the boat to sit in. But even though we were really pleased with the outcome, we decided the process was too costly and time consuming. In this video, we show a new method we've come up with for the bow cradle. <laughs> Here's to the man's last on the road. We are Timo, Nemo, Solo and Joe. And this is our sailing yacht Envy. We're currently in Fiji, transforming her from an ex-race boat to a performance family cruiser. For the second cradle I use it one system difference. Okay, this is the beginning to the next cradle. We glue plywood all together and uh, three buttons in wood on the back just for all the, the elasticity. Now I go to cut uh, the surface of the plywood and we see if it can be elastic. Next we cut lots of strips in the wood to enable it to bend to match the form of the boat, like this placemat. The only difference is that since the bow of the boat is more narrow, we angled the cut slightly towards the center. First thing, watch, eh? This deflection of the material, eh? You see? Coming around, like the boat. Okay, we are in front of the second uh, cradle. I cut all, uh, uh, every five millimeter. And I fill it uh, with the epoxy glue, a epo uh, micro balloon, and I put in form uh, by straps and props. Uh, I'm quite happy of the the shape of the cradle because uh, really it got to take the exactly form of the boat. Now uh, we have to see when uh, glue when it's hard uh, the epoxy if old because. Uh, yeah, they are quite a pair, uh, all uh, stringer, uh, but in the end uh, I go to reinforce again, uh, re-glue, cut the side, uh, I think it uh, works very well. But to see the straps hold exactly on this position of the bulkhead and the shape, uh, it got to be one uh, really good seat, you can see, it's the exactly form of the boat. Now the only system I keep in form, I wish uh, the epoxy glue I use it is enough for uh, making rigid everything. With the cradle part finished, once again we glued it to a support plank with support wedges in between. This method was much faster and more economical. After the metal plate was removed from Solo's leg, we had one last chance to keep him still in hope that the bones would grow back together on their own. It was really hard to see him cooped up indoors all day, so we made him a kind of wheelchair out of a baby's pram. Set. Now, try to go forward. It's good. It's traps. Yeah, that's a good dog. Right, it's only for uh, one month. Right, try to go, turn. It is a nice day outside. Come, come, come. I'm going to the toilet, so Right, try to push the lead. Okay, come, 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 come. Come, that you manage. Yesterday you managed, Die. Come. Bravo, bravo. Go, 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 push, 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 push. It's good. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Go, go, go. Hey, Solo. Hi. What do you think of your new chair? 
Fiquei putoso de deixar na Somebody say this dog you don't want to survive, eh? Now if I take my finger, you got to destroy it in one bite. Ah, this is dangerous.